Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, a very warm welcome if you are new. My name is Nikki and this is the Geeky Boys for my high school cliques series. Last week I did the Nerdy Girls, if you didn't see that one I'll link it in the description box below. But basically this is the follow up to that video because I initially was going to mix boys and girls but I really want to keep each high school cliques video as a trio so I decided to do three boys and three girls separately so it gives me a chance to create more sims for characters. Before I forget because I haven't mentioned it in a long time, you can find most of these sims that I create on my channel on my Sims 4 gallery. So my Sims 4 origin name is Nikki Fark. You'll find the spelling in the description box below and you'll also see in the description if I remember that this household you will find on my gallery. The only Sims I don't really put on my gallery are my personal Sims that I play with offline but all the other Sims you will find up there. Just don't forget to click the box include custom content so you can see the sims appear. I started this trio with just your stereotypical sweet looking good boy. His name is Cameron Hillman and he really makes my heart smile because he looks like such a sweetheart. He cares about his studies, he doesn't get into any trouble. He's probably not the smartest but he loves school. The next geek in this trio is Dylan Hoff and he is one of those geeks who he's just a little bit more extroverted, he likes dressing more colourfully, he's the one that makes you raise your eyebrows, um, there's always that one isn't there where they're just a little bit more kooky than your average teenager. I imagine Dylan to be really into comic books and Star Wars, Star Trek, Marvel and DC blockbuster movies, all that hyper sci-fi geekiness. <laughs> and because Dylan surrounds himself with all these hobbies that you can enjoy alone, he tends to find girls a little bit intimidating. He has this misconception that girls wouldn't be interested in what he's interested so he doesn't really try to interact with girls that often but if you look closely he's actually so handsome and I can imagine that when he's in his 20s and 30s people look at him and go oh my god is that the same Dylan Hoff that we used to giggle at in school he's so handsome he will grow out of his geeky fashion sense and be I don't know, a ladies man I suppose. <laughs> The next sim is Luke Compton and you'll see that I made this harder for myself because I dressed Luke Compton one way and then reminded myself of the traits and aspiration that I gave him which are outdoorsy and he's a vegetarian and his aspiration is archaeology so I already had this predetermined idea that Luke Compton is an outdoorsy person or obviously <laughs> But he loves nature, he loves history, so archaeology is a combination of those things. So I imagine him to be really invested in nature and plants and the earth, which is another reason why he's a vegetarian. But I dressed him in jeans and a jumper and a shirt and I thought, oh no, this doesn't really match. So I redressed him and I thought, no, he definitely needs to be in shorts and he needs to be in a t-shirt but not a cool t-shirt so I gave him it's still a nice looking t-shirt but I gave him a t-shirt with a collar which I feel like is a little bit more geeky and also what is more geeky than socks and sandals I actually <laughs> I actually don't mind that look, it depends who's trying to pull it off but I thought that was just absolutely perfect, socks and sandals and also I grew his hair out a little bit because 
He's less fussy about his appearance, so he doesn't cut his hair as often as his mum tells him to. <laughs> In the description box below, you will find links to the custom content that I have used, as well as links to my social media. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.